Yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'll be able to go. We're going to, um, you know, really go and, you know, test it out right now, just today. Um, but I feel I feel fine for the most part. Um, just a little sore after the Chargers game. And, you know, I was close to playing. Um, but we just decided that was probably best to just, you know, sit that game. How was it that you suffered the injury, going to the medical tent, and you're able to finish the game? What did they do in the medical tent? They, they just <laughs> talked to me. <laughs> I really, you know, I, I kind of, you know, when I when I get hurt or anything, I just kind of, if I can move left and right, then, you know, I, I feel like I could, you know, just kind of push through anything, really just, it's just a mindset, you know, and, and uh, it was a big game. You know, every game really for us is big. So if I feel like I can go, then I'm going to go. Um, that's just kind of, you know, just how I am as a player. You know, I never really want to sit if I don't have to. You know, I, you know, I'll push through anything. If I have to to help the team win, that's just kind of how I am, who I am. Um, but, you know, it felt good enough for me to play. Um, adrenaline was going. You know, felt good. You know, I was, I was hurting a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. We all hurting out there. But uh, I just felt, you know, just for the best for my career, um, you know, Vince probably thought, you know, it's, it's best. If and then Monday you woke up and. <laughs> <laughs> Tough morning, let's just say that. Yeah. So was the, sh was the shoulder problematic too? And is nah, that, nah. No. It, it, it never was a deal for me. Okay. Yeah. Take the specific injury away for a running back who carries the ball as much as you do and played as long. At this point in the year, if you're 100% from camp to start, what percentage are you, you know, prior to what happened against Starbucks? Uh, man, I'll be feeling good coming into camp, man. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be about 95, man. I'll be pretty good, you know. Um, work pretty hard, train pretty hard. Uh, I take care of good. I take, I take really good care of my body, though. Um, I learned that from from Danny Woodhead, uh, you know, coming up. So kind of seeing the way, and he played, you know, he played what 10 plus years or so. So, you know, I, I learned a lot, you know, from Danny and and, and how to kind of prolong your, uh, you know, your years in the league. So. You know, my body be feeling pretty good coming into camp. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, what? now. Now? If you, if you felt good coming into camp, what's the percentage now before oh, the game? Oh, uh, going this long. I, I feel like every every player right now is probably body probably about 80, unless you haven't been playing at all. But <laughs> I, probably every player in the league is probably sitting at about 80 or below, probably. Now, yeah. To follow up on that, you're talking about your body. How much, as you go on in your career, do you add new things to you know what you do to take care of yourself, or is it some, or you've kept the same routine throughout your career? How's um, I've, I've added a little more. Uh, just you know, you being around Vaughn. So the thing I do is, um, you know, the guys <laughs> that's kind of been around a long time in the league, you know, I ask questions. You know, regardless, you know, I've always been, you know, sponge. I've always asked questions. You know, how how do you do this? How do you do that? And you know, when I came here, I learned a lot from Vaughn. Uh, the different people that he works with. The stuff he does with his body is kind of crazy behind the scenes. So I kind of just kind of took that under and, and just kind of mixed it with my own thing. So I've met a lot of different people that do a lot of different things that kind of help me. Um, and that's why, you know, you know, I, I feel, you know, me or Vontae probably can, you know, carry the load anytime we need to. Do you find now that uh, do you find now that people that are players that are younger are asking you for advice and what do you share with them? Um, I don't well, they haven't really asked much. Me yet, you know particularly, but um, I always give it. That Just because they don't ask don't mean you can't give it. You know, some some guys might come in and be too prideful. Um, some guys, you might, you know, they might have their own little thing, their own little routine that they kind of just stick with. They feel like, you know, this is what got me here. I'm going to stick to it. So, you know, they kind of just stick to what they, you know, what they know. Um, but, you know, if, I'm, if a guy's just sitting down and, you know, we just chopping it up, you know, I, you know, I told Vontae, you know, bro, I think you should get at least two to three massages as a running back in the league. You know, just start on that now. Just do different stuff to kind of help prolong your body, um, you know, so you can last, man. Two to three a week. Yeah. And what is the key over these final fights? You talked about playoffs, playoffs, wanting to be back there. Does this feel like, you know, not much margin for your left now? Uh, it, it, it really isn't. It really isn't. You know, and, and the mindset, honestly, um, is to win every game. That kind of was. You know, my mindset coming into the season, my mindset definitely after Philly. Um, you know, we don't want to get in a position to where we need help from other teams. Um, that, that's I've been in that position before, and you do everything that you need to do, but, you know, you're relying on other teams to get help. It's just not a, it's, it's, it's not good. And I, I experienced that one year with the Chargers, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a terrible feeling, man. It, you, you're better off just doing what you need to do and, and putting yourself in, in a position to get to the playoffs, man. So, um, 
you know, my mindset has always been, you know, to win out. You know, it is a premium. Now, our back is against the wall, no doubt about it. Um, you know, it's time to go. So what do you think the difference is between teams that are at the point you guys are at that make the playoffs and teams that don't make the playoffs? It, honestly, man, this is the NFL. It, sh it should be no difference. You know, it, um, you know how I look at it. Whether you a ten win team or you undefeated, you should you should take every game as if you know you want to be one to know that week. You know, sh you should never let off, man. That, this this is the National Football League, man. You will go out and a team will humble you quickly. You know, you can't you can't let up like that. So, you know, regardless of where we are, the mindset should always be one to know each and every week. Does that say something? If teams that don't make it, they did let up. That they they were missing. I mean, not necessarily, man. You, it, it's so many things that could fall in place. You could lose your best players, injuries. Um, I mean, COVID stuff now. <coughs> days. I mean, you know, I seen Keenan Allen's out. You know, I mean, it, it can happen to any team. You know what I mean? That, you know, what if it happens to one quarterback or something? You know, what happened to us last year? You know what I mean? Some things you just can't help. Um, it's kind of inevitable. Um, the luck's part of it. It's, it's, it's a, a little bit, just a tad bit. Yeah, he went crazy. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he balled out, man. He did what you know we all knew he could do. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like I mean we've been splitting the ball down the middle. I mean, you know, since we since we started the year off. And honestly, if you leave me in there or you leave him in there, you know, just think of the the yards me and him both put together and just put it into one player. And we we both be you know I think either one of us right now if we didn't have each other probably be you know top five in rushing. You know, but you know we we just in a position where. We got two two number ones here, and you know we just got to do what we need to do. But I mean, he balled out, man. He he carried the team on his back. I don't think it was any question that he, could he carry the load by himself. I mean, we all know that. We all know he could do that, man. He's just that type of runner. Um, but he's gonna be special, man. And, and uh, you know he's gonna be here here for for a long time, man. He's gonna be a Bronco for a while. To some degree, is that an advantage you think for you guys? You have two number ones, and Pat said you didn't have to change anything. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you come in. I mean, it don't matter. We we both do it all. We can pass, uh, pass block. We can catch. We both can run. I mean, we both do it all. So I mean, you don't lose much when a, when, a, when a guy come in. We both explosive. Both both can make plays. So that's you know that's good. Uh, you know, um, like I, I know I would like the ball more. I know he would like the ball more. That's just you know that's just us being us. Um, but it it it's, it keeps teams uneasy uh, to say the least. You know, a guy get tired. A guy come in there. You know, full strength, full full stamina. Go attack it. Go get after it, man. You know, the, op the whole goal and the objective is to win football games, and that's what we're here to do. Last question. How about to see Mike? Um, you know, he's been working to get back onto the field uh, all year long to, to, to see him kind of get his chance. Yeah, it was dope, man. I was excited for him, and uh, I, di I didn't get to make the trip. And, uh, you know, that was one of the bigger reasons I wanted to go. Um, they thought it was best that I just stay back, which 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 is okay. Um, but I would have loved been there to you know see Boone run and and see Vonte you know kind of do his thing. Um, you know I know Boone especially been you know we've had some conversations where we sat down and we've talked, and uh, you know he's been waiting for his opportunity for a while now. And uh, you know he he probably probably wanted a little bit more opportunities. You know three three was balling, so he kind of you know he kind of <laughs> he kind of stalled him out a little bit, but. Uh, you know, for what he got, the opportunities he got, he made the best of them, man, and he showed people that, you know, he deserves to be in this league. Are you thinking about next year, in the future? Are you thinking, thinking about, about it? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm thinking about it, man. You know, I'd love to be here, man. I want to be here. Um, you know, I don't think many people want me here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> as far as the fans, man, I've, I've been seeing a lot of stuff, man. You know, and I and I understand. You know, I understand. And I get it. And uh, but I love it here, man. I love the guys here. Um, you know, great group of guys, role models, younger and older to follow. And, uh, you know, it's just a great atmosphere. A uh, lot of fans, regardless. Um, <laughs> regardless of the hate right now. And I, I think it's mostly because of fantasy, honestly. But, <laughs> you know, the fantasy football, man, you know, it's, 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 it gets people a little tight in the rear But, um, you know, I'm excited to be here. I love to be here, man. Um, you know, they, they, they do good with running backs here. You know, when we run the ball, man, we could really be dangerous, you know, as you can see. And, uh, you know, I feel like with that O-line we got right now, they're going to be really special. You know, they're going to be really special, man. We got some young guys that are, that are really talented. And, uh, you know, you know I, I've, I've had a, a, quite a few years where my line wasn't, you know, wasn't as great, you know. And, you know, you see something blossoming, you want to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, God willing, I am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.